Well, hello there. Thanks for tuning to my robotics channel here in YouTube, now sponsored by robottalk.com. Um, today I want to show a new creation that I have implemented utilizing one of my previous open source designs that you can find on apogenelectronics.com. Um, it is the dual DC3A, it's a dual DC motor driver uh, f with up to 3 amps of current and what I did is I have placed two of them so now I can control four motors. I'm interfacing that with an MSP430F1612 and uh, here is a, a prototype of this creation. Uh, basically what it allows me is to control four DC motors with a single power supply and I can control both direction and speed and I can also obviously enable and disable the motors. The way that this works is the microcontroller is obviously interfacing to everything and I have a panel here that sends a commands to the microcontroller but the microcontroller can also be interfaced with a computer, a PC computer utilizing uh, your USB port. So the USB port comes through here and this switch selects whether you want to use that USB port or if you want to go manual. If you are on PC mode, commands are sent from the computer and the commands are basically uh, to enable, disable the motors, uh, change direction and also to control the speed by basically modulating the PWM. If you want to operate in um, manual mode, now you utilize the, the panel here, you have uh, potentiometers uh, to control each motor and then switches to control the direction of rotation of each motor. Each motor works uh, completely independent so you can obtain a full control. Now the ultimate goal of this system will be to control props. Uh, my good friends at Tim and Jill Carnival of Lights which makes amazing creations. You, you have to go to their website and see uh, their props um, on carnival uh, like machinery and stuff. Looks amazing. Uh, possibly they will utilize these to control their uh, creations and uh, the ultimate goal on the microcontroller side would be to allow for profiles uh, which basically means that I will be downloading a program into the microcontroller and then the microcontroller takes over. So you don't have to be uh, either moving the pots here or moving the sliders on the computer side. The, uh, the, auto, uh, the, the unit will be completely automated, which is pretty cool. So how about we go and take a look? Okay, welcome to my lab. I have set up the, uh, the four motors. We have four DC motors connected to the four DC motor controller. The, the four motors are 12 volt DC motors running at 240 RPM. They are gear, gear, gear headed. And uh, I guess we're ready to start. Right now I am on manual mode, which means that whatever I do on these pods, I'm gonna transfer into the motors. I can control speed, I can control the rotation of direction and of course I have control over the four motors little clicking sound there Now if I go to PC control, once I enter PC control the motors are disabled because obviously now the PC controls the, uh, the actuation of the motors. For that I have to send commands. So I can still control the speed, uh, I can also control the direction of rotation 